Philippians 4, 4-9 The happiness that the gospel brings. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say, rejoice. Let your equity be known to all men. Nearby is the Lord. Do not be anxious about anything. But let your petitions be known in all things before God through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will keep your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. For the rest, brethren, all that is true, all that is honest, all that is just, all that is pure, all that is lovely, all that is of good repute, if there is any virtue, and if there is any praise, think it. What you also learned, and received, and heard, and saw in me, that do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Philippians 4, 4 9. Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God. Together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of Christ is joy, is happiness, is recognition, that we come out of death, and return to eternal life. All who receive the Gospel of Christ receive the joy of the Holy Spirit. In Paul's epistle to the Philippians in chapter 4, he speaks on exactly this theme. That is the happiness of those who are part of the Gospel of Christ. In verse 4, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And he goes on, again, tell you. Rejoicing is the euphoria, the joy that the Gospel produces, this joy of the Gospel, it comes because the gospel brings us security. The security of life, and eternal life. And brings us the security, which the presence of the Holy Spirit brings within us, that is, that God lives within us, and this presence of the Creator within us brings us the joy of if we are part of the Creator of heaven and earth, we are also part of the body of His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is within us, that is why we rejoice, and have this euphoria, this joy and this happiness. Because true happiness is being in God, and we have the happiness of having God within us, so we also have the power of God within us. And this presence of God within us brings us security. Therefore, in verse 6, he says, Do not be restless for anything, before your petitions. Be known before God, with prayer and supplication, and with thanksgiving. In verse 7, he says, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts, and your feelings in Christ. In verse 8, he gives counsel to those who are part of the body of Christ and body of God, and the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will hold your hearts, and your feelings in Christ Jesus. Brothers, all that is true, all that is honest, all that is fair, all that is pure, all that is kind, all that is good fame. If there is some virtue, and there is some praise, thought, thou also have learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me. This shall do, and the God of peace will be with you. See dear brothers in Christ, we have the liberty of Christ love, we have long understood that we must have happiness and joy in the Lord, because we are part of the body of Christ, and the Holy Spirit lives within us. And this presence brings us security, and also brings us peace and also guides us. When he says that we should think only of what is true, what is honest, what is fair, what is pure, what is lovely, and what is good reputation, if there is any virtue, power, we think of it. So, dear brethren in Christ, for having the Holy Spirit within us, for being part of the body of Christ, and for having God as our Father is that we are happy and rejoice too. The point of not suffering the evils of this world when the evils of the world come upon us, we do not suffer, because we have the joy of the Lord within us, and we know that the sufferings of this world are nothing compared to the glories of the future. And when sufferings come upon us, we glorify God even in sufferings. Amen. Glory to God.